Ay Dios mío. All right, go to plus, what's up? This is gonna be the inside ankle bone high five minute step drill workout. This is five minutes of just maintaining maximum inside ankle bone high. So heels are gonna be all the way off the ground. We're gonna be in our back chain and we're just gonna step left, step right, simply just like that for five minutes straight. Uh, if you can do this for five minutes straight, it's a really strong indicator that you have strong inside ankle bone high behavior. So if you're feeling tension in the outside of the ankles, on the outside of the lateral calves while you're doing this, this is a good thing. If you can't do five minutes just yet, do two minutes, work up to three, four, and then five. Carly's never done this before. Oh, so we're gonna see how ready. it goes. Let's get started here. Go maximum inside ankle bone high all the way up. Get into your back chain and start stepping. Just like that. We're keeping a narrow column base. Just stepping, little baby bows in corners. All of our pressure on the outside. Good. I've got some of my clients, I actually work up to 10 minutes. I have, oh. I'm gonna do 10 minutes of this. But usually when they're doing 10 minutes, we got a wall or a chair or something in front of us. So I like to keep the unassisted just straight in open space here for about five minutes because anything after that is really just torture. Should be feeling what? Glutes, quads, I mean. <laughs> a little bit of quad, a little, little bit of quad little action, bit. mostly mostly glutes, my hamstrings right now. Mostly hammies and lateral calves yes, right here. Yes, those are. Give them a side profile, see how it works. Other net, no doubt. <laughs> see, you can work the front while owning the back. While owning while the owning back. Owning the back. One minute in, we got four minutes to go. Oh. Really try and don't let those ankles drop at all. We're trying to be really on the tippy toes, as much on the tippy toes as we can. Every time I step, there's just a little bit of space. I raise up that foot. And I'm just doing little baby column loading. Column loading means that when I take a step with my right, my head goes to the right. When I take a step with my left, my head goes to the left here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling things. <laughs> I feel a lot, of, a lot of good burning sensations. Not holding a single weight. It's no weight, incredible. yeah, that's a good idea. If you do want to <laughs> yeah. increase this, hold a weight, put a weight vest on right here. But just five minutes here. We're, spent, so we're supposed to spend the majority of our life on the balls of our feet, not on those heels. Those heels, we like to think of them as a kickstand. So this is a way for us just to really work inside ankle bone high and our capacity to hold it. Strength, endurance is what we're talking about here. Two minutes and 10 seconds in, up to five minute inside ankle bone high step challenge. Good what work. is your recommendation if you feel lower back lighting up only? If you feel lower back lighting up only, try and move your hips back and feel like your tailbone is going to the ground until you can really pressurize those hips. If you can still only feel low back, you might be someone who needs some supports like a wall or a chair in front of you just so you can ease off the tension on the back and really funnel it to the hips. It's a, it's a skill to learn how to funnel pressure into the hips. Back chain dominance is what we're talking about here. And we're connecting back chain dominance with inside ankle bone high. As we're stepping, we got two minutes to go. Good job, everyone. Do you know, have both knees shifting? Because I find that I'm loading little bow corner. Bow, or do you want them to be neutral? I like little bows and corners. Little bows and corners. It's really hard to keep them neutral. And that spine neutral, it doesn't feel good for me. I like to just do loads and go here. And you might find yourself walking around the room or staying in place. But the biggest thing is keeping those heels elevated, feeding the lateral calves as we're walking. Minute and a half left. Got it. We got it. Good. Gotta remind myself to keep them heels up. Heels up. <sighs> Highly recommend putting on some music and dancing yeah. to this. Because if you're in a silent room and somebody walks in, they might get confused. <laughs> Put on some music and do this. You can do this while you're cooking. You can do this while you're brushing your teeth in the shower. Yeah. It's always a good time for a little inside angle on high strengthening. Last minute here. Find that uh, 
Latin music is really good to do this stuff too. Latin music. Yeah. Da, 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 it really is. Da, open up the <laughs> Last 40 seconds. We should have a lot of sensations in this. We should feel a lot of different things in our calves and our feet, our right and our left not, are not gonna feel the same. So this is a time for you to see, okay, this is where I'm losing it, losing the back chain, losing inside ankle bone high. Let me recode on the fly and see if I can recollect myself and make this easier and my technique just a little bit cleaner. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Go ahead, walk it off just now, walk it off. Go walk around and just notice as you're walking, notice how easy it is to keep your heels off the ground. Notice how you don't wanna be heel striking, but it's easy for you just to land on that outside blade on the ball of your foot and just to walk here with your heel just elevated just a little bit amount. That's what we want the entire time while you're walking around. We don't wanna be heel striking, but really loading that blade and the outside ball of the foot here. So good job everyone for that five minute inside ankle high step drill. We did we, it. We did it. <laughs> as hard as you thought? I felt good, I feel warmed up now, ready to. Do you think you could do a 25 pound plate or a 10 pound plate? Uh, I would try to max out with that and then just drop set it, but probably maybe like two minutes. Two minutes, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go to Plus, Coach Carlin, Coach Bam. Thanks for joining us, we're out.